Whether it's the serve, forehand, backhand, or volley, tennis puts a lot of stress on your wrist. There are about 18 million tennis players in the United States. And when we talk about injuries in the upper extremity, about 30% in tennis players are wrist injuries. That's a high number. Many of those injuries are caused by chronic overuse. The average tennis match is about over a thousand ground strokes. Now, if you're practicing three, four times a week for two, three hours, may not hit a thousand shots. Maybe just practice on volleying. How you grip the racket and hit the ball plays a major role too which is why Mayo researchers recently studied tennis players' strokes in a motion analysis lab. With our research, we've learned just by looking at the various muscles and motion capture technology, we can really break it down to the millisecond to see which muscles are firing appropriately and which ones aren't. I've actually had patients who we've operated on, they've gone through this program to see that actually when they're hitting a topspin, their wrist is in the wrong position. That can't be picked up with the naked eye, and now they can work with their tennis professionals to improve their form to hopefully prevent further injury. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jason Howland.